Today let's talk about Ho Bo. Ho comes from Tutsumu, the verb to rap. Uh, go, uh, bo is the kanji for staff or rod, even for wooden rods or steps, let's say. Ho Bo is seen as an evolution of the ancient Take no Den. So the Take no Den, as you may all know, is one of the, one of the ten Den that our school has on its origins on the origins of the Shizem um, martial culture as a way of defending themselves and didn't use um, uh, wood or wooden steps. They would use Intake no Den, that was the origin of this method we are going to see right now, is um, bamboos. This take came, uh, comes from bamboo. And there are many interesting uh, ways of practicing or of developing their own techniques using bamboos. So, in the particular case of the Take no Den, for example, if you're going to use Take no Den with this, um, with this tambo that would be a piece of bamboo, they would, they would have this quite easily on the forests or on the, on the, uh, on the bamboo forest uh, as they have. They would, all, they, they would always, um, regardless of, of how the UK would come, they would always do something that would be very um, uh, meaningful as an impact, that is, attacking thoroughly, okay, and then finding their own ways to lock very painful locks, very painful movements for breaking, for example, and then following to next instances, but always in a very rough way. That is, they would be, regardless of how he is entering, he is coming, enter violently. Okay? and then proceeding to uh, 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 using the bamboo. Now, in the case of Take no Den, they would have this particular method of practicing, that is the Toku Chiku no Ren. So this Toku comes from something special, for something like a command, uh, and this came later on. Okay? And Chiku comes from Take, that is bamboo. So very often the master, <coughs> in the beginning of this practice, the master would um, would flex or would bring the bamboo so it would do like this and when it, it returns the student then would have the need to block the it was required for learning that he would block even using the, the, the bamboo at that time block the coming bamboo and then wrap or uh, uh, pass around the bamboo he was wearing so he could learn to block and use it like a hook very uh, efficiently in just one time. So the main idea at that time was protecting uh, against uh, katana, as was, as we all know, the main weapon of the samurai at that time. <clears throat> now, one more consideration is that uh, in Take no Den, he, he couldn't actually, he couldn't barely, um, for example, suppose we're here, as we're going to see in Hobo. Here, take us as he wishes. Say I'm here, okay? So I stroke, okay? And I'll say I'm here. Once I'm here, I could, in the hobo, for example, bring him down and spin or uh, roll over him, strangling, okay? 
I will roll now, but I will let this go. I will make this loose, so we will, I will make no harm to Sensei Haoni, okay? So as I'm here, I will set this loose right now, but the idea was to keep it firm, okay? I could just easily have him downward, still strangling, and hit his head on my own leg, on a rock, or, on, or any object, okay? And keep my, keep my movement. This was not something we could do on Takenoden. So if one sees um, Takenoden and we have this uh, enhancement, say hey, not so fast, because Takenoden is something more, more pure and more rough. Uh, and also, of course, in the Edo period, um, it was an unusual scenario that they would, um, of course, samurai would have uh, katana, swords, but also spears. So one could not simply go down and take his time or linger too much on the ground movements. Okay? But now proceeding to the, to the whole wall. Whole wall. Uh, let's say it, it consists in once he enters, at the same time I'm using the tip, like this in the gyakute position, in the tip, I will keep as in a chain of movements, using both tips of the uh, tambo or tenkai, which is in okay? So once I'm here, say one more time. Okay, so once I'm here, I have or this, or I could use this. So it's not locked, it's, it's locked, not hooked, okay? So once I'm here, and I brought him now, I will proceed for strangling the veins and the, uh, the, the blood circulation uh, under the armpit. And this does hurt a lot. So once I'm here, I will again proceed to restrain one, one arm, okay? And suppose I am here, for example, bringing him downward, okay? I will then bring his other arm here, and you have this posture, one of the posture. Is this part of the Kumu no the, um, uh, the methods of the of the spider? Okay, so I could have this here, I could have this here, and keep like uh, something less wrapping. I mean, taking his arm backward and my body forward to this direction. This really hurts. And another usual case was having this in here. Okay, so my whole weight. Uh, to the front, and also if you can, I will take him out for a second. Okay. So as we are here, and we have his head, if I rotate uh, in a very simple movement, say I'm here and rotate like this, there is a huge leverage on his neck. Okay. Now let's see. Something else. So you now, once I'm here, as I came, there is also the Heibino Gikor, the studies of the, uh, of the snake. You can say that if he's a very, very strong man, his bones, his, the, he, the, his, his physical structure uh, gives him the condition of um, absorbing impacts. Let's say, once I'm here, I could easily come to this posture, this part of his body. This part of his body is very, very painful, okay? The idea was not just breaking, you know, uh, his shin or his ankle, whether like this or like this, they're both very effective. I have him locked here, but to bring him to this posture, okay? Once I'm here, I could proceed as, since we are in this method, I could proceed by locking the tambo on my own body like this and uh, rotate my own body so I could break uh, his ankle in another ankle like this. Okay. At the same time, I could proceed since I am here, I'll pass to this side, okay? Have his feet locked, his foot locked. Whether like this by rotating, whether like this, so bringing him backward and smashing his ankle from from this angle, okay? <clears throat> now, say, uh, 
many combinations can be found in here. That is, once I'm here, whether here or here, say if I am, if I came to this point by mixing some of, of the things we have studied um, these last days, I can use the other tip to pass around and have my own strangling movements here. Okay? Always bring him down violently. This is allowed uh, in this method. Always watching his other hand. So even if he tries to draw any weapon or something, I have control of, over the environment. Okay? This is an illustration of the whole whole method.